Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and explain these buttons. I'm gonna start at my left and work my way right. This is the home screen for the wire EDM. The very first button you're gonna see is work piece setup. Now what work piece setup is gonna do is bring you to this page, all right? On the left, you'll see a bunch of numbers and what this is is gonna be your zero zero, either according to, to your machine zero zero or your machine position. And this bottom is actually the location of where your head is. So if you're five inches away from machine zero zero, this is where you're gonna see that, okay? Now, you'll see a line in the middle, and what that's doing is it's separating page one and page two, okay? Now you'll have all these different options, which we'll go over in more depth with the setup tutorials, but all these bottom options are on every single page with every single button. And if you read them, it just gives you different options, like on workpiece setup, it gives you the options of how you're gonna go about picking zero, zero up. You can set your work offset, you can zero out your machine, and so on and so forth. Okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and go to page two, which is gonna be machining data. And what that's gonna do is it allows you the options of turning certain options on and off, such as dry run and things of that nature. Now they have a bunch of different options in here. You're not gonna use all these, but if you do need to know what each one does, you can look in your manual or you can send us an email and maybe we'll be able to give you an answer. All right. Now, we're gonna go ahead and go to program edit. What program edit's gonna do is it's gonna allow you to edit your program. Okay, so if you wanna change certain G codes or M codes or X, Y locations, you go to program edit and you can type in the program that you're looking for. It'll find it and you can go ahead and change whatever you wanna change, all right? All right, next button's gonna be Power Master. What Power Master is gonna do, you can go ahead and change EPAC numbers, which if you do not know what EPAC numbers are, then you can go ahead and look in our tutorial section and we'll have an entire video meant for EPACs. But you can change those numbers and save them in your Power Master. So if you're not happy with the settings of your EPAC numbers, you can change them and save them, okay? And there are other options on Power Master, but that's an entire video in itself. All right, program check. What that allows you to do is actually look at your program before you run it. So you'll see blue lines, you'll see white lines, and you'll see the outline of your part. Whatever it shows, that's what it's gonna cut. So it's always good to get in the rhythm of checking your program through program check, okay? Monitor is the very next button. Now what monitor is, is that's when you're ready to run your program, you go to monitor, you type in the program, and you can hit start, and it will actually start your program. And then you can follow along with the X, Y locations as it's moving so you know where you're at. And you can slow it down, speed it up, and things like that, which we'll go over more while we're running parts. All right, the next button is auxiliary switch. This is just manual ways of inserting your wire, shooting a stream of water down without actually inserting a wire and uh, wire collect so it's collecting the wire you can mirror your program and we're going to go over each one of these in a separate video under auxiliary switch video all right the very next button is maintenance now what maintenance is going to do is it's going to let you know when you need to maintenance your machine all right so you can set in different settings or different dates of when you want to maintenance and it keeps a record of that. All right. Guidance. What guidance is, is just like a help button. Okay. Some of you guys might have that on your machines. Some might not. Other than that, that's about it. We're going to go into more depth with each one of these buttons depending on what parts we're making and we might even throw in a separate video that goes over workpiece setup, machining data, program edit, power master and each one of them because there is a lot to this machine but if you just want to get a part running we can definitely show you how to do that.